the cat and welcome to Genshin Impact and also welcome to my first YouTube only video sort of I mean I do put my bots here but this is my first YouTube only like actually well edited video and it's only because I'm not the one editing uh, it's all thanks to my friend happy happy drop your socials somewhere you think I've anywhere. got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. Anyways, uh... If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. Skarmish, shut up! Yeah, today we're doing the Wimbledon Festival. I haven't even started, so I'm going to be doing that. I also told Happy I would do her made, um... Oh, it's this one. Right. She made a particularly hard... I mean, she said it's like tor to torture me, the music game thingy from w Windbloom. She made one for me, specifically to torture me. Let's go. Oh, look at that! They have little thingies. Am I lying? I don't know if I'm lying. Is that. Oh, it has little stuff in the air. I think I'm lying. I'm definitely lagging. Just give me a second, alright? We're back. Alright. Okay, well, it looks really. Oh no! With the low settings, the flowy things in the air disappeared. No, that's so sad. This is cute. <laughs> it's kind of in the middle of this, guys. This, this thing is usually not here. Alright, alright. So we need to start the quest. Let's go. Hey there, Captain. Good day, you two. It's nice to see you here at this festive time. Also, I completely forgot to mention. Uh, from the last time I streamed to the, to now, uh, I changed from contacts to glasses. So if my eyes are weird, it's really because of that. Sorry. I, I I have no idea how to fix it. So. I just have to live with it for a while. So, got any jobs for us? Hmm. I'm afraid I'd struggle to find you any commissions in the near future. With the arrival of the Windbloom Festival, the only task most Mondstadters are busy with is preparing gifts for their loved ones. But it's customary to do this oneself without assistance. Think of this period as the off season for the Mondstadt branch of the Adventurers Guild. Spring is here, love is in the air, and everyone wants to relax and enjoy themselves. Even the cats at the tavern next door have been getting lovey-dovey with one another recently. Are we going to get keys in the future? <laughs> Ew. Gross. <laughs> Two kinds of people. You know that feeling you get when you burst out the doors after a nice nap, hoping to make it to the store before the limited edition drinks sell out, only to get there just in time to see the last glasses snatched away right from under your nose by a couple of pesky lovebirds? <sighs> That's what this feels like. <laughs> That's very specific of you, Paimon. <laughs> Perhaps you two could simply take this chance to... Traveler! Paimon! Thank goodness I found you. Um, there's something I need your help with. She's so cute. Woo! Sucre? Whoa, someone needs help after all? What is wrong with you? That's no way to greet a friend we haven't seen in so long! I didn't mean it badly, Paimon! I... I mean, were we looking for... to help people? Is that a good thing? Uh, no. Not help like in the Windbloom sense. It's just... How do I explain? Go ahead, Sucrose. We don't have anything else to do right now anyway! Phew. Okay. Here's the situation. I've been appointed as the Windbloom Festival Special Ambassador by the Knights of Favonius this year. My task is to do good deeds for people during this festival of gratitude and love. Nice one! So how did they decide who to appoint anyway? They spun an empty bottle donated by Angel Share inside a circle with all our names on it. 
Whoever's name the bottle stopped at got chosen. I think so too. But everyone said that it was to make it fair, so everyone had an equal chance to become the special ambassador. The thing is, I'm not great at dealing with people, so I was really daunted by it at first. But I'm still glad that I got this role. Luckily, I came up with a way to spur myself on, which has helped. Have a look. A vial. Just an empty vial. Right, Sucrus. Right. Wait. Is that a test tube? Yep. Every time I do a good deed for someone, I get them to breathe into a test tube. That way, I can collect everyone's breaths of joy. What? What? Sucrus, are you high? Are you gonna use them in your research? Is she high? What the fuck? Yes! I believe these breaths of joy will serve as valuable raw materials for our chemical transmutation. With any luck, I'll be able to produce something truly miraculous. Like an extra sweet, sweet flower? Now Paimon's hungry. Wait! You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I meant something even more exciting than that. What's more exciting than an uh, extra sweet, sweet flower? I can't say for sure until I have more test results to confirm my hypothesis, though. Alchemists mustn't make claims they can't live up to. Anyway, I'm still missing one final breath of joy. Is that all you need help with? That's easy! <laughs> Just treat Paimon to a sweet madame! Then you'll get your last breath of joy! <laughs> More like sweet madame, Brett. Hey, come on! Paimon's doing her best to help, okay? <sighs> so, does it need to be more like official or ceremonious or something? No, joy isn't measured in those terms at all. Well, let me put it this way. Have you ever planted a fruit seed and cared for it while it grows? In the same way that those tender, sweet fruits are the product of your time and effort, the amount of joy derived from an experience is positively correlated to the degree of hardship overcome during it. Hmm. That's a curious theory. For example, in my case, I would say that to experience a statistically significant amount of joy, I'd have to do something like spend six months developing a medicine formula to a point where it was finally consistently effective. Similarly, in order to collect a significant amount of joy from other people, I have to find ways to do something sufficiently challenging on their behalf. Oh, Paimon gets it now! Long story short, you want us to help you find people for you to help! Catering of serving us <laughs> It's just like, oh, that's an interesting conversation. Can you imagine Sandra just listening in on us, like, all this time? She's like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Oh, that's pretty tough given that it's the Windbloom Festival and all. Oh, I figured since you're such experienced travelers, you might have some ideas. But if even you don't know how to approach this... Uh, we can't give a jet. Yes, you're right. Well, if he's in, then Paimon will help too. With the talking, anyway. Are we admitting that we that the only thing you do is talk, Paimon? That the only thing you, you're actually doing for us is just talking? But, um, if things don't work out, can Paimon still get that sweet madame? Paimon. Oh, come on, Traveler. This is a festival of gratitude and love, after all. How could you refuse? I have a thought of sweet madams. I don't know what you are Excuse eating Excuse me, them. Sucrose. Could I borrow you for a second? Package for you. Oh. Oh, sure. Be right back. 
What kind of package Wait, did she receive? Is that the Paimon thinks it is? That's Kole, right? When did she arrive at Mondstadt? Oh, Kole! Kole's in Mondstadt! I already knew that because Let's it was in all the promo. But Kole is in Mondstadt! <laughs> <coughs> Oh, a gathering of outlanders. I was going. Uh, that's awkward that was because I was going to say, oh, I should pull out a high jump, and then I remember that Skaramish is also an outlander. So, I, uh, oh no, wait, this is mine. Uh, oh, <laughs> hey you guys, what are the chances? You are staring into space just now. Something the matter? Um. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm fine. I mean, flashbacks, Kole. I was just looking at a Mondstadt children's book in the souvenir shop over there. While I was flipping through it, a piece of paper fell out. The writing on it was really mysterious, almost like a prophecy. If you can do these things. You may light the lantern of utmost joy and receive a supreme blessing. Was that my audio or did she have trouble with reading that? And what does these things refer to? Find a flower that is not of this world. Find a guide who will never get lost. Find one who would never lie. Find a legend that never ends. Wait, wait. That feels that feels weird. Flower that's not from this world. So like the flower that Lumine has in her hair. Find a guy who will never get lost. Like Paimon. I'm not sure who the one who never lie is. Like I think it could either be an Ahida that actually told us a bunch of stuff for Dane's leaf, because he's always kind of answering our questions. A legend that never ends is. Uh... Okay, I talked about this on the stream when I was doing the the story quest. I think I don't remember, honestly, uh, but the fact that the Sams a Samsara. It's like just repeating and I think like the entire world is a samsara because at some point I think uh, Rukadevata said that the she chose Nahida I like the branch that gave life to Nahida to be her to be she like Rukadevata to be her in the new samsara Something like that. I don't know. So, four things in total. Here, have a look. This makes Genshin Impact, basically. I asked the lady who owns the store about it, but she said that she didn't know anything about any paper slips. Perhaps we can ask a friend about this later. Venti? You think of Venti? Hi there. Ask Venti. Sorry to butt in, but what's the name of that storybook you just mentioned? Oh, <laughs> it was called The Boar Princess. Hmm, that is strange. I've read that book, and it sounds like that note you found has no relation to the story at all. Um, do you know her? Oh, <laughs> she's so. Like, that's awkward to ask in front of other people, Kole. Let Paimon do the honors. Kole, this is Sucrose, an alchemist with the Knights of Avonius. And Sucrose, meet Kole. She's a trainee forest ranger from Sumeru's Avidia Forest. She was also around Monster a couple years back. Hello. Uh, hi. Oh, and she's awkward too. Uh, mm -mm. Oh. Crap. <laughs> they're both awkward. <laughs> they're, they're not saying anything. Uh, this is getting awkward fast. They're both so shy. Say something, Paimon. Saying so, that won't make it better. Sucrose, 
What are your thoughts on this prophecy? Could it be real? I, um... Without having done any research, I couldn't comment definitively. Hmm. Um, but if you want my subjective opinion, I don't think that it's a nasty prank or anything. Why not? The only people who read children's books are those with a childlike wonder and imagination. Or children, of course. I'm sure that whoever put this prophecy there would understand that. Would they really do this just to spread lies and ruin someone's innocence? I can't imagine anyone being so cruel. I mean... Relatively, I guess? That's a great take! I love it! Exactly! Who would want to hurt a child's feelings? I can imagine a lot of people, but because of the people involved in this quest, I would say Dottore. I don't- I mean, I don't think the Tori is involved in this, because this is a nice quest. I guess, this is Windbloom. But like... Eh, that's an example? Okay, so... What do you think the- mm. Oh, oops. Um, if I had to guess, maybe a fairy that can make people's wishes come true or something? I haven't read many fairy tales, so... This is pure speculation, with no other information on hand or prior research to compare against. I'm afraid it might not even be worth considering. Wow! Her guesswork is really good, though. I want to pick her brain some more. That sounds creepy. But will she find it annoying if I keep asking her questions? And now there goes the anxiety again. They've only just met, after all. Uh, what's the best thing to say to someone you're meeting for the first time? Uh, would you like to get a lantern of utmost joy? Uh, well, <laughs> yes. I, I mean, if possible. <clears throat> then, what would you wish for, Kale? Um, I'd wish for a... <sighs> a better personality. No, Kale, what? No, that's so sad. Uh huh. That's so. That just sounds so sad, dude. What? Huh? You can't waste it on that. You've got a great personality already. Right. That's very kind of you. Uh, but if you know me like I do. Collie. Oh, I thought I thought she was done talking. Oh, I just look at my mom. I have my eyes closed. I guess I'm just going to have my eyes closed for the rest of the stream. For, I mean, if I take the glass off, I can't see shit. If I put them on, my eyes just close. Like they open very rarely. Eh, we'll have to work with that. Time, huh? You're way earlier than I expected. I spotted your green hair way off in the distance. Good thing my eyes are sharp, or I'd have missed you. Amber, have you been doing well? Did you finish all the pita pockets I brought you last time? Oh, she was here before? Like she visited? You bet. They're getting yummier each time you make them. Huh? Wait, remind Paimon, have you made them on stage? Before. Oh. Mm-hmm. A long time ago, I had a lot of help from a lot of people here in Mondstadt. So ever since my Alizar got better, I've been looking out for an opportunity to come back to Mondstadt and tell them all the news that I've been cured. Great, and good for you. <laughs> Thanks. If it's okay with everyone, why don't I take Kale for a walk around town? I'd like to show her some of the places she didn't get to see last time. Of course. Fine by me. Sure, go right ahead! I, uh... Um... Sorry, Amber. What? 
And you're not going to spend time with Amber? I agreed to meet my traveling companions oh. by the city gate in a few minutes, so I can't go with you just yet. Oh, that's all right. In that case, you guys go rest up, and I'll go see Master Jean to ask for some time off. Oh, okay. Was she just going to get out of her job without asking? Traveler Sucrose, could you look after Kali for now? I'll come get her later and take her out. There's still a whole bunch of people I need to introduce her to. Did Kali come here in the Teva equivalent of Valentine's Day to see Amber? Sh are we supposed to take that as something? Sure, no problem. You can count on us. Awesome. See you later then. <sighs> um. <laughs> What's wrong? You all right there, Kali? You look kind of disappointed. Did she want Amber to go meet her traveling companions? I'm sorry. I'm just feeling a little shy today. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Amber wants to introduce me to more of her friends. Am I gonna be able to cope? Oh no, poor teen. I understand her. Social batteries suck. I mean, social batteries with little capacity. I've only met Sucro so far. I'm already struggling to make conversation. I wish I had a little more self-confidence. But I'd find it much easier to make friends with people. Uh, it's nearly time! Let's go to the gate and see if they've arrived. Let's go to the gate, I guess. Hope you enjoy the wind bloom Oh, they're been wishing us a win a good win like hope you enjoy your wind moon festival. That's so nice. So you know enjoy your happy remember. <laughs> Why is this humble oh, windmill God. such a great view? Is he going to say a joke? Oh it's true! At the end of the the manga, he was here in Mondstadt. He had a cape, like he was so much covered. And he, you know, he had a white cape on top of his clothes, and he he came to pick up Kole. Because it is the true great Vayu Viastra. What? <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't tell me you don't get it. I don't get it. View, Vayu, and also Mahamatra, Vayu Viastra. No? Kanari, Dino, over here! Master, this is Sucrose, an alchemist with the Knights of Favonius. We just met. See, Chris, this is my teacher, Tainari. He's a highly respected forest watcher in Sumeru, and he's also a very famous botanist. <sighs> so you have a teacher as well. The pleasure is all mine, Tainari, sir. Yep, he's extremely knowledgeable, too. And this is General Mahamatra Sino of the Sumeru Academia. He's really famous in Sumeru as well. Greetings. Though if I might say so, we're purely here for personal reasons. You needn't be unduly concerned with our official positions. And Kale, there's no need to use my full title. Sino is fine. Or sir, if you absolutely must. They're on a family vacation! Keep me company? But it was you two that insisted on coming! <laughs> Kale is very important to us. We felt obliged to ensure her safety on the long, treacherous journey to Mondstadt. But I've been here on my own loads of times before! <laughs> what about your work, though? What if something bad happens while the General Mahamad 
Triz away. Don't worry, the acting ground sage can take her. There should be no issues. I have left my duties in the hands of my subordinates and two especially reliable helpers. Oh, Sucrose. What were you saying about you having a teacher as well? I was just going to mention that I think we're in a somewhat similar situation. I'm an assistant to Mr. Albedo, Mondstadt's genius alchemist. Oh, please, Sucrose. Genius is an unnecessary epithet. It will serve only to leave an exaggerated impression of me in the minds of our guests. <laughs> oh, Pio! It has been so long since I saw you. I play you even less. <laughs> I'm sorry, Albedo. I love you. You're so cute. Mr. Albedo, <clears throat> but it is an objective truth. Hey, Albedo's here too! Great! The more the merrier! Everyone introduces themselves mm. and it changes. Wait, wait! Can we hold off on the nerdy topic for now? Paimon doesn't want to be left out! Paimon, shut up! Oh, as it happens, I've studied the Kel Lily in quite some detail before. With it being a species native to Mondstadt. I wrote a whole report on my findings. If you're interested, Mr. Tainari, sir, I can go get it for you. <sighs> We're supposed to be here on vacation. And you're already thinking about how to improve your herbal medicines? Also, I thought we'd agreed to take on new identities for this trip. What new identities? Mine was Adventurer Sino skilled desert explorer. Tainari's was technological consultant to the treasure hoarders, and Kali's was traveling musician. Uh, you find that sort of roleplay fun? I think it's fun! Don't ask it like that! I want to shame Sino! Why do you force me to do it? Very much so. <laughs> Are you contemplating using some compounds from the calla lily as active ingredients in a targeted antidote? Okay, I got it. But as much as I don't wish to be a wet blanket, it takes a huge amount of experimental data to conclusively prove how different drugs interact. Estimating the total development time would be very difficult. Add in the time for procurement and delivery of essential materials, and I'm not sure if we could complete development before you need to return. He's going to have an answer already. Uh, then please, allow me to help. Mr. Albedo! Apologies for my tardy entrance in the present discussion. I understand you're looking to make an antidote for poisonous fungi, correct? If you happen to have some samples with you, or relevant documentation on hand, perhaps you might give me the chance to review them later. But before that, I invite the three of you to look at this. Accommodations. One of Mr. God's other properties. Priority. The Adventurer's Guild reception area. Backup plan to be confirmed. Food, group meals on the first day, following which all are free to make their own arrangements amidst the city's various restaurants and taverns. Self catering facilities will be prepared at lodgings. Outdoor activities, considering our guest sightseeing interests, Sucrose Timaeus, myself, and some of the Knights of Pomponius can accompany our guests splitting in groups where necessary, obtaining souvenirs, multiple collection medals with with wind comes glory. The outdoor themselves, creation through alchemy, and handcrafting are all possibilities. Scientific observations, emphasis on botany, official business, no such needs at the moment. Food and lodging arrangements? Were you quietly writing this up the whole time? Paimon didn't even notice! Impressive multitasking. Was everything all bad does? Hardly. Rather... I should apologize for interrupting a serious discussion between trained professionals. 
Especially after they've traveled so far to be here, when I myself am neither an adventurer nor a technological. Nevertheless, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would encourage though. you to have a knowledgeable local arrange your detailed itinerary while you're in Mondstadt. Take a look. And should you find anything here to be objectionable, it can easily be adjusted. It looks great! Even Paimon feels like tagging along for the food and board! Uh, you're not included in this itinerary. That's why it's called tagging along! Very comprehensive. The adventurer, technological consultant, and musician I'll approve. Thank you. Idea. I'm looking forward to it already. Great, then it's decided. Sucrose and I will bring the three of you to your inn for a quick rest. You two, let's meet by the lake this evening. I just realized the things are gone. I wonder if when they put them back, will they fix the the orientation thing again. They're gone. Because there was a small, like, orientation thing that a lot of people complain about in online. I saw it. It's very, very small, but. Oh! Uh. Hey, can we have a cold cut platter to go? Sure, coming right up. Would you like anything else? Do we, uh, <laughs> Look at her eyes. Uh, if we must, once with Madame, I guess. Yay! So you do remember after all! You're just the best! <laughs> Paimon will give you the sweet flower from that sweet Madame as a wind bloom. Just don't ruin your appetite for later. <laughs> no need to worry about that! Paimon can make room for good food. <laughs> All right, just a moment. In the time it takes her to pack up, and uh. oh, mm, that was great. If that was a wind bloom treat, then Paimon wishes it could be the wind bloom festival every day. It will be for the next like two weeks. Head over to the camping side. Where are we camping? <laughs> Oh, it's close by. I get there and just. The wind rises. I mean, it's easy. It's closer to just get there like this than actually try to do something else. Behold. Oh, it's where it usually is the fish person. Let me grab the mushroom. Usually the fish person is over there. Oh, here, there it is, the fish person. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're all here. We're not late, are we? Not at all. We just came early to set everything up, since we happen to be free today. Kali put up the tent so quickly, but still managed to tie very sturdy knots. You can really tell that she's a professional. I didn't do much apart from passing materials around. <laughs> thanks. It's all thanks to Master and Sino. They taught me everything I know. Wait. Wasn't she going to meet Amber later? Where's Amber? <laughs> what can I say? For a skilled adventurer, this is just another day on the job. <laughs> He's not going to leave his role. So moody. Everyone brings out their food and starts cooking. After a delicious feast, everyone sits around the campfire. Oh. That's correct. 
Any further deductions? Let <laughs> That's right. I've long heard that Sumeru's fish with cream sauce is noted for its gentle texture, which brings out the tenderness of the fish. Here in Mondstadt, oh, we're not quite as varied in the use of spices as in Sumeru, but the principle of bringing certain distinct flavors to the forefront through combinations of natural ingredients is oh, very much the same. I'll write a copy of the recipe for you. Would anyone like to try the nutrient-dense meal I made? I'll have some. What about you, Kale? It doesn't look like you've eaten very much. Is your appetite low at the moment? Uh, no. I just don't eat a lot normally. Hmm. What just happened? Um... Sorry, I didn't mean to make things awkward. Tainari, while we were on the road, we spotted something white walking on two legs. <laughs> Was that Paimon? Just after passing through Stonegate. Uh, Sino, are you sure your eyes were working that day? Or maybe your head was blocking your vision? <laughs> Paimon always flies. There's no way she'd ever walk. Hmm. Is that right? I thought that you'd made me snacked on too many local ground nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no? Not funny. <laughs> it's funny. Ground, you know. As in ground up, but also the ground. Ground nuts make you fall to the ground. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't have to explain it. Uh. Is no one gonna interject? Still, we could test the hypothesis. What hypothesis? <laughs> that plant species indigenous to Mondstadt may have an effect on the motor functions of flying life forms. I say we put this theorist to the test. Hey! Not you too. <laughs> I think the Traveler and Paimon's conversations are more entertaining than Sino's jokes. No, for Sino! No, don't say that. Uh, I see. You must have been keeping quiet about this grievance for quite some time now. You seem much cheerier now that you're here in Mondstadt, Sino. Actually, feels like you're a completely different person. He was so serious and kind of scary in the main mission. That's because I'm Sino the Adventurer. <laughs> That's not funny. It is funny! Shut up! Uh, shut the fuck up! It is funny! Hmm? It's not? Yes, it is! You furry poopers! Yep, it's true. Sometimes when he's eating, he'll grumble about how the bowl is too shallow for the amount of food it contains and other random stuff like that. I understand. Then allow me to reintroduce myself. Before, you knew me as General Mahamatra Sino. Now, please see me as Sino the Adventurer. <laughs> Stop trying to resist already. Hmm. So you have two different mental states? Almost like different phases of matter. Interesting. 
I want to learn to do that too. I think in your case, the two states we would end up with would be highly conscientious sucrose and <laughs> stupefied sucrose. Oh, by the way, was there any reason in particular that you chose Mondstadt as your destination on this occasion? Oh, well, Lisa once told me that the Windbloom Festival is one of Mondstadt's biggest events of the year. I wanted to take this opportunity to give everyone a Windbloom as a token of my heartfelt gratitude for everything they've done to look after me. <laughs> He's really a dad. He's like, go, be social. Kale, Lily. <laughs> what? Kale's wind bloom. Maybe she should call it a Kale Lily. It sounds very monster. <laughs> There's also Kale flower, which would technically make more sense. But somehow it doesn't sound as nice. I came to ensure Kali's safety. That's just an excuse. Plain and simple. <laughs> also, there's the matter of a genius invocation TCG custom made card back. <laughs> Aha! So you did have an ulterior motive! He's being a geek. Have you all played genius invocation TCG before? I haven't. That thing is still my missions. Hmm. Well, you should. For the sake of our continued <laughs> friendship. Are you trolling me? Is that why you came home so early so I would play your game? When I first began contemplating getting a new card back, I asked around before eventually deciding to ask the legendary Mr. Kaltz for guidance. A friend of mine, Sawada, whom I played cards with on occasion, had been to Inazuma for the Irodori festival. He told me that Kaltz was a monstatter, so I should try my luck there. Kaltz? Uh, isn't that... You mean, he's a friend of yours? <laughs> I see. So, you came to Mondstadt in search of Kaltz. You have him right in front of you. No, that is inaccurate. I came here principally to protect Kale. <laughs> Not only me, same applies to you too, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> if my writer friend were here now, I'm sure he would describe this curious coincidence as having the makings of a good story. It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. Oh, here he comes! <laughs> Wait, you mean you're Mr. Calx? Having my new friends address me by my pen name feels... Uh, somewhat unusual, please. Just call me Albedo. <laughs> oh no. Now Tainar is going to embarrass him. Uh, you didn't have to say all that. <laughs> Poor thing. I don't usually take private commissions, but I believe that we are friends now. All of us. You make friends really easy, Albedo. Our conversations have been deep and interesting. And Sino, your passion for this game is indeed one of a kind. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Obviously. And given that you've come all this way from Sumeru to see me, I'd be quite honored to take this commission. Wow, your teachers so nice. I feel the same about yours. Um, well, they definitely have different personalities, but they're similar when it comes to their character. So, 
How much should I budget for the timeless masterpiece you will produce for me? Surely, timeless masterpiece is something of an overstatement. <laughs> Any artwork fit to appear on the reverse of my card decks is by definition a timeless masterpiece. Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> I see. So, this has an almost religious significance. Well, for starters, I'd like to hear a few more of your jokes. Uh, my jokes? You like them? I do. <laughs> really? I didn't see you laughing. Yeah, well, the joke's ability to induce laughter is a separate matter. But I certainly find them fun. Oh no, did something burn? Uh, my nutritional meal! Will it be okay? Should we go over and take a look too? Hi guys. Can I talk to them? I want to talk to them. I'd be grateful if you could check on Sucrose. As for our new friends here, leave them to me. Oh, we're sure it should be kind of closer to him than we are to them. Because we know him for longer. Huh. So, a good joke is not necessarily required to make people laugh at them. Oh no, he's going to think all of his jokes are good. I mean, I don't think they're bad because I find them funny, but... Oh no. See what Tanyari has to say. <laughs> the cooking pot is everything okay? I don't think so. I think it's burnt. So gross, are you okay? the base is burned we can still use the cooking pot it just needs a bit of a wash good thing Tainari's nose is so sharp has he been in this kind of situation a lot before don't let it get to you don't let it get you down so cross <sighs> I know it's just I'm sorry to disappoint Sino I guess we'll have to do this again another day oh uh, yes I'm not sure if you've noticed Kali seems a little depressed I noticed she was in a low mood when everyone was talking I get the feeling as well remember that note she received I was just thinking I want to try solving this riddle and giving Kali the chance to accept the blessing oh yeah she's the one who needs your help exactly maybe she'll be willing to breathe into my test tube <laughs> but anyway that can wait as much as I'd like to make progress in my research, I'd prefer to see her smile. Oh, that's so cute. Alright, we'll help out too. You will? Then tell me, honestly, do you think that this prophecy is for real too? I know how, can, how I can find out. Uh-huh. Right! I'll be back shortly. Alright. Let's meet at the alchemy crafting bench in the city. I've got some thinking to do in the meantime. We're going to ask Venti, right? We're back. I'm sure we're going to ask Venti. Oh, what a shame. You just missed a joke about windmills. <laughs> <laughs> that bad, huh? Hmm. Well, now Paimon really wants to hear it for some reason. <laughs> Torture him. tomorrow morning. And you? What are your plans? Oh, uh, perhaps I could join you? I'll be looking for inspiration for these card back illustrations. Found you! Oh, there she is! I knew I was on to something as soon as I saw the fight. <laughs> wow, you have really sharp eyes. That's an outrider for you. Uh-oh. Did we break the 
Actually, you didn't. Strictly speaking, you should have reported your plans first. But since two of our very own alchemists are here, I'm happy to look the other way. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, God, I forgot the word. It's not nepotism. Oh, uh, uh, encryption? It doesn't matter, we're in the city of freedom. Ah, uh, yes, introductions. I'm Amber, and this is the Reconnaissance Company Captain Eula, a good friend of mine. Good evening. You are friends of Kale, yes? A pleasure to meet you. Oh, really? All positive, I hope. You asked that last time, too! Of course it was positive! I'd say. We hear the latest news about you every time you write to Kale. <laughs> Glad to know we've made a good impression so far. Anyway, we're just here to collect Kale, so don't let us interrupt your chat. Come on, Kale. We're gonna take you to check out a few scenic spots. Okay, great! <laughs> Still as high energy as always. Hmm? You know Amber? Yes, we've met. She's Kali's most important friend. And for that, we are also very grateful to her. I really need to finish reading that manga because I have no idea how he got involved at all into all that happened. <sighs> That's Amber for you. Her outgoing personality means she can make friends with just about anybody. Hmm. It's getting late. And we still have a lot lined up tomorrow. I suggest we all head back and get some rest. Yeah, we should preserve our energy. Everyone backs up and says their goodbyes in the dark of night. You're gonna get the tone deaf bard to check out that note, aren't you? That's right, of course. <laughs> Who else? Guess Paimon knows you pretty well, huh? Knowing him, he should be hitting the taverns around this time. We can go corner him and make him answer our <laughs> questions. Let's move! Bye, man. No! Just asked him nicely. He's our friend. Squall and Fury. Oh, wait. Can I grab this? Oh, wait. Vint? Vint, what are you doing out here? Oh, it's been a while. I'm on call, Dick. Tone deaf bar, drinking as usual. Put your drink down and get your game face on. We've got some important questions for you, mister. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, he's, <laughs> he's just like, oh, what happened? <laughs> Fair thing. You told Manti what a mysterious so, prophecy. What do you make of it? The, he, he was like, oh, my friends are here to see me. And they, they're like, no, we're not here to see you. We need something from you. That's so sad. Guys, you're such bad friends. Yeah, any thoughts? <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? It's the Windbloom Festival right now. You can't just go around asking people for help so blatantly. Ugh. Well, if you won't tell us the answer, could you at least tell us if this thing's worth a shot? Sounds to me like you want a hint or two. And a blessing or two to boot. <laughs> a fine answer. The person who wrote this prophecy is very powerful. If you manage to solve the riddle, good things are sure to happen. Also, I happen to know where this lantern is. Once you've found the four things, I'll even write the location down for you. Isn't that generous of me? <laughs> Whatever. We weren't expecting much from you anyway. But he's giving us some primal Why are you so mean? You can get back to guzzling wine and blowing wind now. Hmm. Paimon, why are you so mean? Oh, woe is me. Paimon sees me as nothing more than a drunken wastrel. There are actually a great many things that we bards are required to do. <laughs> it just happens that enjoying life is the most important one. Once this is over, would you like to join me for a drink? Yes, I would love so. You know, a favor for a favor. I would love to go with you, Venti. I love Bendy, in case that wasn't obvious. Where do I talk to Sucrose? Oh, wait, can I talk to Bendy again? <laughs> or, given the way that you're staring at me, perhaps 
you'd like to get me that drink now? I, of course, would be most amenable to that. But I believe you have friends waiting for you. I want to drink worry. with you. There will be plenty of time during the festival. I want to drink with you, Wendy. Why want you to drink with me? Wendy. Wendy! <laughs> yes, there she is. How long is this part of the quest? A flower that is not of this world. Hmm, not of this world. Sucrose! We've got some good news and some bad news. Which would you like to hear first? Um, let's have the bad news first, I guess. Huh? Really? Don't most people usually want to hear the good stuff first? No, Paimon, it's exactly like Sucre said. First you want to hear the bad stuff, so then the good stuff makes the bad stuff better. Just get to the point, Paimon. Oh, alright then. Basically, we went to Windrise to divine the breeze. The wind said that the prophecy is real and that your idea is a really good one. That doesn't sound like bad news. So what's the real bad news then? Uh, Paimon is the bad news! <laughs> <laughs> Paimon, that's... You, uh, Paimon. Uh, blame Sino! If it's not funny, then it's his fault! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Well, that puts my mind at rest. Now, back to the other issue I've been mulling over. I was thinking about the flower that is not of this world. It could mean a human cultivated variety that doesn't occur in nature. But that's basically claiming that it doesn't come from this world in the first place. When actually it's just a variant of an existing breed. So, the initial question is... Can the flower's origins be traced back to a natural organism? If so... It cannot be correctly described as not of this world. Well, uh, the traveler isn't from this world. And oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a flower that's not of this world, besides the one from the tween. Albedo had one. I don't remember if in his quest or in one well, I think it was in his quest. But then. Supposing we identified something outside of that category, whose job would it be to decide whether it belongs in this world or not? Then the question becomes, do of this world and from this world mean the same thing? Or is it deeper than that? Oh, wait. Wait! Wait, what the f... All right, all right, stop. Stop, full stop. That's important. Because when we were told that the descendants don't get, like, or their destinies, fates, whatever, recorded in Irmin's soul. One of these was used, like, things from another world. And then they said that our twin was from this world because, or of this world, I don't remember, because they're, in my case, I pick a either her fate was or her some of her story was written in Inmers in Ear means who gosh so that's important this this feels important whoa whoa slow down Hyman's head is already starting to spin okay um I did have one other line of thought as well what about a flower created using alchemy would that be not of this world? If by that you mean a flower from beyond this world, Albedo did make something like that once. Albedo may know the answer, but asking him right away would be like asking the teacher for the answers to your exam paper. It would render our search for the truth meaningless. I'd rather try and figure this out for myself. Could it be the wind bloom? Oh, now that you mention it, that's definitely a possibility. The wind bloom doesn't refer to a specific flower. Everyone defines what it means for themselves. In which case, the wind bloom doesn't exist in reality. <sighs> this does seem like a promising direction. I've made a note. Okay, I better go read up on this. Yay! Paimon was actually useful 
<laughs> Guess we have that sweet medan to thank, huh? Even a broken cloak is right twice a day. I'll need some time to prepare. Could we meet up here in, say, two days' time? Oh, did I finish the first part? Sure thing! In the meantime, we'll also think about the other three riddles in the prophecy. But, uh, since we're really going for this now, shouldn't we say something to Kali about it? I originally wanted to leave it as a surprise for her, and I also didn't want to get her hopes up over nothing. But you're right, Paimon. I'll need to be careful how I word it. But I'll try to find some time over the next couple days to mention it to her. Understood. Alright. Thanks so much. What? Wait. Uh, I was looking for something. Alright. I need to see where... If I can find characters after the first day of this thing, I want to find them. Gathering of Outlanders, part one complete. Uh, where exactly? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure they're even going to be here because I'm not doing it in the right day. The wind rises. Oh, yes, they are. Nice. This is so cool. Oh, I have a camera. All right. Huh. So this is Storm Terror's lair. Hmm. From which direction will Storm Terror appear, I wonder? Um, excuse me. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> he almost growled. Who's there? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I apologize as well. I acted on force of habit. You must be a local, yes? My name is Sino, and I'm here sightseeing in Mondstadt. In truth, it is I who am disturbing you. Um, might I ask if you're looking for something here? I'm waiting for Storm Terror to arrive. You even set up a camera. <laughs> yes. I hope to capture a good picture as reference material for an artist I know. Oh, in that case, let me help keep watch too. From what I've heard, Storm Terror's movements have some regular schedule. Hmm. Roughly how often does it appear? Uh, hold on. I'll have to check against our data first. Let me consult my notes. Hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, Mr. Sino, sir, are you going to stand there staring into the sky the entire time? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm quite strong. My neck can take it. Uh, Sino. No, no, I, I mean, you should sit down. I, I brought a blanket. Here, you can borrow it. I'll be all right. <laughs> Sino, please oh, sit down. Um, okay, well... Are you just going to stand there? Huh. Weird. <laughs> now I'm staring up into the sky too. <sighs> they are funny. Seems like the other side of this. Huh. The wind rises. I wanna do Dr. Livingstone shit. It was this one time, now I, it happened, I remembered, where I was around, just walking, and I saw that glow that in my, in my mind was like, that shouldn't happen because I have reactivated it long ago. But it happened, just because it was rendering, I guess. I was like, what? And I went on to just check all the totems to, be sh to make sure that I actually did them. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm not going to pick that while you're staring at it, just this one. And this one over here. I don't need them, but... Hmm. 
Yeah, that's true. Like, if you just go walking around, you're never going to find one. You need to come to the area where they are. Though they can be preserved for a long time as specimens, I can't take back the beauty they possess in the wild. It's a shame. Shall I ask Sucrose to develop a Cecilia variant with improved soil adaptability for you? I should warn you, though, it may very well end up with a name like Tetratanic Ananimo Cecilia, or perhaps Epsilon Series Cecilia Variation 601 Sumeru Growth Type. <laughs> No, that that's real. I mean, maybe, but it is a thing. Unfortunately not. I'm being completely serious. <laughs> Back to our previous topic. If you wish to use anti-toxic compounds from calla lilies in an antidote, then I have a few suggestions. I'm not going to touch those. I want to interrupt their staring at the flowers. Oh, oh there me. they are, but no, that's just a guy. Oh, it's the guy taking care of the children. I remember that guy. I thought he was weird the first time I saw him. Swan Fury. There they are. was here, he'd be able to tell you its scientific name, species, and behaviors. But as for me, all I can tell you is it isn't a species we have in Sumeru. <laughs> oh, then what kinds of birds do you have in Sumeru? Dust birds. They have the most beautiful, vibrant colors. The feathers on their chest are the color of ripe sunsidias, and their wingtips are the color of tender mint leaves. They're not too skittish around people, and at my tree hop, I mean, this tree that I often go past. There's a dusk bird there that always looks at me like it understands what I'm saying. I once picked up one of its feathers from the ground. It felt really nice. You have keen observation skills and a love for living things. You'd be better served directing your energies there rather than sighing and whining all the time. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's true, but that's quite harsh, Eula. <sighs> Eula says things in the most awkward way possible sometimes. Just ignore the second half, Kale. No, it's fine. I know what she means. She does have a point. Are you hungry for fish? I see quite a few over there. Sounds like someone's up for a fishing contest, huh? Fair warning, though. I won't lose. Seriously? Another competition? <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be sightseeing. Uh, but still, wait for me. Alright, now let's see if I can actually find uh, Dia and um, Candace. Like if it's actually a thing that they are there. It's supposed to be somewhere over here in Sumeru City, but I'm not sure exactly like in what top of the fucking city. So we just check, I guess. Uh, she's somewhere over I think I can. Find Not sure. Why would she be here? Could that be nothing to do with the Wind Bloom Festival on the days and she was just there at some point and she isn't there anymore? Seems like day two we only find sign on Lisa. The wind rises. So we're over here. Oh. Over here. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Is that her? No. Yeah. No, it's not her. Oh, there she is. She is here. Hi, dear. Oh, hey there, traveler. Nice to see ya. Didn't expect to see you here at this hour, dear. 
<laughs> well, Sino's out of the country on a trip, so he got me to come and help his subordinates take care of a few things. Oh. I guess you can say I'm his temporary substitute. That's why she's here, because he left her in church. The atmosphere around here is not too bad nowadays, so I don't mind sticking around once in a while. You've probably got a lot going on yourself, I bet. Good luck with everything. Eh, not really, we're just playing games in Mondstadt. Uh, it's super busy. Sure. And then there's Candace, who is probably another person that Sino left taking care of things. That way we're seeing her. She's in our village. Where the fuck's our village here? Idea. Where's Gandalf meant to be? Oh, Gandalf is meant to be around there. Candace. Candace, where are you? Candace. There she is. Oh, I should with Staria. Wait, that's a bit on the way. Sitaria. You should take a break and have a bite to eat. I still don't have Candace. Sataria? Ah, oh, thank you. Sorry, I was completely absorbed in what I was doing. I didn't even hear your voice. Oh, it's alright. I'm glad that you enjoy the work you're doing. Sorry you've ended up having to babysit me. I'm sure you have far more important things to do. Well... Rahman's busy with the Eremites these days. But having me stand in as your bodyguard must be a welcome breath of fresh air for you. It's a change for me, too. My first time working as a bodyguard. I'm just treating it as a chance to get a taste of Dia's line of work. <laughs> I tried telling Mahamatra Sino that I can work unsupervised. Really, this ought to be the last of his worries. He said that educators willing to work in the desert are an extremely rare breed, so I need a bodyguard for protection at all times. I think he's being a little overprotective. Nah, the desert is pretty... damn... dangerous, I guess. But, at the end of the day, that's why we know we can count on the General Mahamatra. He and I are of the same mind in this case. So, I am very happy to protect you. While you're in Aura Village, we're partners. We don't want to cause you any unnecessary pressure. So please, try to enjoy your time here. Oh, this is so nice. Well, we finished the first part of the story. So, thank you so much for being here. And I will be doing the second part soon. I hope to see you there. Ah, oh, yeah, that was terrible. I got. That was terrible. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm going to be recording the second part soon. Hopefully. I mean, in the space of 12 days, I guess. And I hope to see you here again. Relax. That's going to be... Thank you, Skarmish. Uh, that's going to be all for now. Bye-bye!